Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers! <laughs> Where you always get the full Monte. And today we have an extra special episode, Coke and Strippers Tools, with this Chinese multifunction tester. Straight from China. I just wanted to say that, no, this isn't a sponsored product. Not that I would remind getting sponsored products, but this is not one. This is the multifunction tester. This is $25 delivered to my door. Multifunction tester. Uh, oh, here we go. We get to. Uh, no longer a new product. All right. Uh, it comes with its own USB charge cable, a USB charge port, and this IC holder clippy thing. So let's see what it does. Hey, it's in color. Oh, it's testing. No unknown or damaged part. So far, so good. Let's see what we can do about that. Uh, hey, look, I found a part. We put it in any two numbers that are not the same. About a one and a three. And we latch it down. Then we hit the magic button. What do we get? In tester testing. Oh, I see some lights blinking. This is a diode! 2.77 volts. With a look, it even gives the capacitance 40 picofarads. That's pretty cool. I always want to know what your diode capacitances are. What else do we have over here? Oh, we've got this. Apparently they say that uh, those colors will tell you something about them. Meh. That's, you know, what do we say on cooking strippers? Colors. Meh. It's a resistor. 4.663K. Perfect. I wonder what this thing is. Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. Put it in there. Hit the button. It's a MOSFET! Look at that! Look, it even has a cool little diagram. 10.54 microfarads. A, any equivalent series resistance, 1.2 ohm. Haha, <laughs> we got a tricky one for it now. This is a diode. But it's not just any diode. It is a Zener diode. You know, diodes normally conduct in one direction. Well, Zener diodes are kind of cool. They conduct in both directions. And it says it's a Zener with a 5.23 volt uh, reverse voltage. Oh, let's hurry up and put it in. Here is random transistor. Can I get it in there in time? Nope, try again. A BJT, PNP. With the game, the whole deal. Look, and again, nice diagram. PMP. Let's see what this one is. Another one. Testing. NPN. Oh, and there's more stuff in the box. Hey, it comes with these parts. What are these? Parts to test. I don't know what this is. It's a Capacitor with some stuff on it. An LED and some kind of pins. Hmm. I guess you can put those pins. I don't know what those are. Oh, but look at this. This is cool. Hey, you get the little the little clippy clips that clip onto things and will stick in there. So if you need to clip onto something. That's kind of neat. And I saved the best for last. Look here, it says IR. What does that mean? Oh, go get a remote control. Push the, push the, push the. Oh, we, we get a little red light. What does that mean? All right, a little more careful reading of the destructions says that it only works with Hitachi remote. So I went and grabbed my box of remotes and give this one a try. Yes, no, oh, 
Here we go. IR decoder, user code oh, uh, 609F, data code 1FE0. Or if I push a different button, 05FA. Okay, so it can decode the different buttons on a Hitachi. That's pretty cool. Let's try this Emerson. Oh, there we go. Well, it's recognizing the infrared, but it won't decode it. What about this dual? I just took it out of the bag. Hey, look, it decodes it. Uh, user code 01FE, and then the data code is different depending on which button I push. Oh, and it's actually showing you the waveform of the, of the thing. That's cool, let's try some more. Hey, would you look at this old remote? Well, it's a bromine poisoning, but I remember buying this, I think probably in the late 90s, mid 90s. I don't remember exactly what it was for, channel TV. Something to do with a computer. Hey, it decodes it. User code 10EF and a different data code for each button you push. Excellent. Hopodge, whatever, however you say that. I think I got that with video cards. I used to do a bunch of uh, Myth TV, which was a way to have a DVR before there were DVRs. Uh, nope. Sony. Sony? Nope. How about a Philips 66? Does that thing work? Well, it transmits, but you can't, it won't decode it. By the way, this is a reminder, don't leave old batteries and equipment for 100 years. RCA? Nope. How about RCA? It's not even coming on. Why do you even keep 20-year-old remotes anyway? That's what my ex-wives used to ask. Well, in case I'm doing a video sometime and I need to test all the features of a multi-function tester from China, of course. And finally, we have the DVD Video Cyber Home. Can you even buy DVD players anymore? Push the button. Hey, it decodes it. Two thirds of them it'll read. So apparently, two thirds of them have stolen the Hitachi uh, protocol. Well, even though it won't read everything, I think it's still a pretty cool device. Clean it off, put it away, figure out exactly what little parts you have. Uh, that's where it really excels. This is a, let me guess, it's a capacitor, about 2,348 nanofarads. Perfect. I think it's worth having. 25 bucks. Look at all the usual places on, um, on the internet and you will find it rechargeable. Very cool. My new multifunction tester. So if you like this video, if you had fun, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, tell your neighbors, scream it from the rooftops, and come join me next time after you subscribe for the next exciting Coke and Strippers.